Today I'm going to show you how to transplant snow peas that were grown in many greenhouses out in the cold and the snow with the winter sowing method. So you know I grow a lot in trays. I got these gorgeous new trays in my new garden. I have another video where I can show you. I've got a whole big new garden planted, just all ready for me to do all my transplants. So this will be the first one for this tray, and I've got it all fenced in with a four-foot fence. And so I'm putting all along the fence, I've got my uh, sugar snap peas on the uh, last three trays, and then I save this one for my snow peas. And look at this. This was growing so fantastically. It was growing out the top. This was grown with this in this like uh, lemonade container here. And it was growing at least six, eight inches out the top. I've been so busy I haven't been able to get to it. So this little baby was happy to be released today. But look how healthy it is. And all I did was put it in soil, put the, some water on it, a little soil over it, threw the top on, taped it around, left the lid, uh, the little opening at the top open for rain and snow to get in. My battery's going. And um, today she's getting transplanted along the fence. Okay, so I just took it out of the can out of the container and look at that nice healthy root system. And I separated it into four plants. Here's the long one, a couple smaller ones, and then a kind of medium sized one there. And it all came out of I saved the containers each year and clean them out so I didn't have to cut the container on this one, which was great. So since my battery's going, I'm going to get this in the soil quickly and show it to you, see how it's growing up the fence. All right, so here they are. This first one has two shoots, and this one wasn't long enough to uh, trellis yet. But you see I got this, this green, um, I don't know what it's called, some, a tie tape that you can just tear with your hands. It's really stretchy and nice. And I loosely tied it to the fence. And those tendrils will start just doing their own thing and crawling up the fence. The only challenge I have is the deer can eat anything I trellis from the outside. So I have to constantly be weaving it back in, weaving it back in, making sure all the produce is inside because they usually don't eat the leaves. They just like the produce. These little two are not quite long enough to trellis. And that one right there, I trellised. I got it started. So grow snap peas or snow peas. They are so delicious. Of course, grow snap peas too. But uh, I put them in stir fries, put them in salads, just eat them raw. Actually, half of them don't even make it to the kitchen. I just eat them out here. And of course, some of the bunnies are going to get to some and the chipmunks will get to some. I always plan on having extra uh, to share with the critters because you can't stop them all. But my fence will stop a lot of it. So anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. And uh, do you have a favorite snow pea? This one's called Oregon Sugar Pod snow pea. Uh, go down in the comment section and let us know if you have a favorite snow pea that you like and uh, what ideas you have for trellising if you think this is a good idea. I do keep it off the pole because the pole gets so hot. The stake, I don't, I used to tr try and trellis it there, but it got so hot it actually cooked the plant. So that's why I went right next to it. So, um, and these all right here in a couple weeks, I'll have a, a whole rows of sugar snap peas for you to see coming up and you'll watch the, how I trellis them up the end. And we've got arugula going in, all types of kale, uh, lettuces coming in, and I'll have lots of great videos for you. This is a fun summer. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey. I sure appreciate you and I'm sending love as always. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.